It's five o'clock in the morning here in Jerusalem, and this is live video. And while the city's under the cover of darkness, something else is hanging over the people who live here. The reality of war. And within the hour or so, Israeli military bombed two tunnels used by the Palestinian terror group Hamas to get into Israeli territory early Saturday morning. And not long before that happened, Israeli authorities were telling people to leave dozens of towns near the Gaza Strip, leading many to think an Israeli ground invasion into Gaza is imminent. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country's response to the Hamas attack, the killings and the atrocities that happened this weekend and are continuing tonight is just getting started. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordeen. The death toll continues to rise tonight. Here is what we know. 11 Americans are dead. President Joe Biden says the federal government believes it is likely more Americans are being held hostage. Around 900 people, including 73 soldiers, are dead in Israel. In Gaza and the West Bank, at least 687 people are dead. At least 130 Israelis are being held hostage. The local Jewish community gathered tonight at Temple Emanuel in Greensboro to pray for Israeli hostages and to collectively grieve the loss of hundreds after that surprise attack by the Hamas terrorist organization. Fox A's Cassie Fambro attended this prayer service, spoke to people who are processing the attack, many of whom are worried about loved ones in Israel. So Cassie, how are they rallying support? Well, Neil and Katie, definitely a tough night. Greensboro senior rabbi Andy Corin said it was important to rally together tonight after taking some space to process the atrocities that have happened in Israel. He says the local Jewish community is horrified by what happened and heartbroken by the losses, but they have faith that Israel will win. We needed uh, some space and some time because this past weekend has been horrific. So it's very, very important for us to be together and to have the space uh, in order to express our prayers and also to say some of the things that have been on our hearts and our souls. We stand together on behalf of Israel. We are also horrified at what happened and our hearts go out to all. There were hundreds of people gathered at Temple Emanuel in Greensboro Monday night from all across the triad. They held hands, prayed, and held tightly to their faith amid the attack on Israel. Several faith leaders called this the Jewish 9-11, or the largest attack in 50 years on the Jewish community. Rabbi Emeritus Gutman said his anger stemmed from mass Jewish murder happening in 2023. He and others also expressed the horror and slaughter of the kidnappings taking place in Israel. They also asked for donations to support efforts on the ground there. Representative Kathy Manning is the vice ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee and said she's doing everything she can at the government level. We are drafting a resolution in support of Israel that many of us, it's a bipartisan resolution that we have signed on. And I know there is a bill circulating right now to make sure we provide Israel with the funding they need to, um, to, to replenish their Iron Dome system, which is a defensive system to protect the people in Israel. And the local Jewish community is asking for donations to be made, and you can do that on GreensboroShalom.org. All proceeds go to supporting immediate humanitarian relief in Israel. In the studio, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. Cassie, thank you, and we will have continuing coverage of the attacks in Israel. We will bring you the latest both on air and online on our website, MyFox8.com.